Hey everyone, Tyler Graham here with Dynamic Training Strategies. I have Rob Pincus here to talk about his new line of belts that he has coming out. Rob? Yeah, this is the uh, rack, the range and carry belt line. We've been selling these for about six months now and uh, did a real soft rollout through the ICE training store at icestore.us. And these are actually made by PsyOps Gear, a company that's based right at the headquarters of DGG Taser, one of my partners down there in Florida. And uh, they came to me with this belt idea and they said, you know, here, here's the deal. It's, it's structured very much like um, what my, people may have seen as competition belts, um, very vertically stable and yet very flexible and comfortable around the body and also not very wide. So it makes a great, obviously, support base for all of your gear, whatever you're going to wear. And what I really like about it is it's convenient and efficient. So, you know, lately um, we've seen a lot of cool belts come out that um, have some large buckles and just, you know, really cool looking. And I've had a couple of them, good quality stuff, but uh, they do get a bit, get a bit cumbersome with taking the buckles on and off and having to worry about not being able to put the belt on without having the buckle off the belt, whereas these just slip right on and off. Um, they've got these these little guys here, which um, we call the little claw hooks. Of course, here are different names for them, but because we have the IC claw line, we call these the little claw buckles as well. I know I switched from a cross reed holsters belt to, to this belt because I have a problem with any belt system that has a super, a super big buckle on it. It just prints too much, and now I run out of real estate to actually wear the belt how it's actually designed. Now, with this belt, I can actually have the gun in the proper position and uh, with the other belts I had had the buckle pretty much all the way over to the side and not wearing how it's intended. So you know at first I was pretty skeptical on it. I'm sold on it. I've been wearing it for about a couple months now and it's just it's just a great belt overall around. It's 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 stiff while still being comfortable and that's the biggest thing that, that to take to take away from this. And this is the one that I've been wearing for most of the summer, uh, most of the, the uh, training season through the spring and summer and you can see how it started to take on the contour that fits my hips. It fits exactly where I wear my pants, where I wear around my hips. Well this is the shape. You can see it's a little bit lower over here, it comes up a little bit higher on the sides and it's conformed to the shape of my body. Now, one thing that people ask about is whether or not they can put a lot of different gear on it. Well, if you notice, this isn't a super thick belt. It's relatively thin, but it's very vertically stable. So you can slip all the gear that you want on there as far as your, your holsters and things like that. We do have a new line of Adex outside of the waistband holsters coming in the range and carry line. The whole idea was range and carry. So not just a leather dress belt and also not something that would look completely ridiculous if you were to just put on a pair of jeans and, and wear it to the mall. So this is a belt that you can use every day, you can use it on the range. We try to get as much consistency as we can between, as you know, the, the equipment that the student's using on the range and what they're wearing every day, what they're wearing around in their everyday life. If you like outside the waistband, the range and carry holster line is meant to actually facilitate that. If you carry inside the waistband, but you like to train with something outside the waistband, the range and carry gear will allow you to carry everything very close to your body much the same way you would have everything if you were inside the waistband. Also, I carry appendix, and another thing about the minimalist buckle is that, as you said, it, it makes it real easy to wear the belt normally and not have to worry about pushing it off to the side. So I'm glad that you found that to be one of the features that you liked. It's definitely something that we're pushing. Um, a lot of people have been curious about the belts. Um, I've been doing a little bit more product stuff over the last couple of years. It's something I resisted for a long time. Uh, the fact is, if people have quality products and, and they're interested in working with us at ICE Training Company, um, we're more than happy to get involved in the test and evaluation process and certainly be able to say this is a belt that I absolutely would trust. Yeah. Uh, Rob, these guys can find the belt at ictrainstore.us? Uh, ictstore.us yeah. or ictraining.us, either way. So the belts run around, run around $45? Yeah, they're right? relatively inexpensive too, which is nice. And that's the biggest thing that I, that I got tracked to because there's a lot of companies that have belts and if they start out like $100 and I think the majority of the cost is in the huge five pound bucks. So minimalist, it's comfortable, it works really well and you can wear it with a bunch of different type of clothing. So, three fashionable colors, the uh, green, gray, the foliage, the tan, and straight blackness. So, we got anything else, Rob? That's it, man. I appreciate you letting me talk about the uh, range and carry belt. Yeah, no problem. Hey, guys, I'm Tyler Grant with Dynamic Training Strategies. Rob Pink is from IC Training Company. Stay safe. Hope to see you on the range.